Well, thanks very much on the first video for all the comments. And uh, what we're going to do on this video is do a bit of weedless fishing. Uh, we've been asked to, you know, just show you some of the people um, how we go about fishing weeded areas. Uh, there's a lot of snags and weeds on the canals and the rivers that we fish. Um, so we'll talk you through what we use, how we rig up, what setup we use, and how we actually retrieve the lure. Um, I think we'll start off with the, the normal worm hooks and the weedless setup. So, hope you enjoy this part of the video, guys. Well, we'll just get this little fella back in. See, uh, not a bad little stamp, that. That's caught on the TRD, on the deal. Superb. Let's get him back in because he's an absolute brahma, he is. That's it fella, get some water down you. Well in this video, uh, what we're going to do is show you how we fish our very snaggy and weedy canals. Um, what rigs we use primarily. Um, I mean, it's a, it's a bit cold today, um, so there's not going to be much fishing being done. So what I thought to do is run you through what what rigs we use and why we use them. So first off, um, you can get what's called a weighted worm hook, and I'll just take the lure off this one, and I'll just show it you there. Now that there is a it's a normal normal worm hook but it's also got the weight on the front, so you use it as a jig. Now that's five gram. Now, the way we rig these is, it's dead simple. I'll just get one of the lures, uh, and if you can see just there, on the back of it, there's a slit down. That's for weedless rigging. Now I'll just show you. So, you get your weedless hook, and you clip it, into the front of your, your little lure there and then you thread it down the, the hook and you twist it at the end so it's actually sitting like that now and then you measure the hook of where you want the point to come out so you want the hook on the bend which is there so you measure it with your thumb and I want that to come out there so you quickly pull it round Flip it through, all the way through, and you'll see why in a moment, why it has that gap in it. So we'll pop it down there, that's now on the hook. But to make it weedless, what we do is we pop it up there, and we just pinch it there. And as you can see in there, the hook is totally hidden. So when the fish bites down on it, you see there that pulls the hoop round that's when you get the strike so basically yeah that's a weighted worm hook and it's absolutely perfect because the point of the hook is not showing there so you can drag this all the way through the weed no problem whatsoever you're not going to get snagged up now the other way is to to use a cheb rig and i've got a few just just to show you here i'll I've got a few actually dead small ones which I use uh, when I'm targeting perch. So let's quickly look at these. And as you can see there, it has a very small worm hook on it. Same principle, the fish bites down and it, it just shows the hook. But with these, you just pinch it up like that and you just pull it and hide the hook, jobs are going. Now on the front of this is a ball and a straight through clip. Now I can take this off, that's the weight which you use, and that's just, it's just, just like a paper clip, to be honest with you, just there, if you can see. Yep, now all you're doing is, 
making sure that the hook's facing upwards like that, you thread this on and then you take the whole of the clip and there's two slots in these balls and you pop the front in the slot just like that and then you push it all the way on into that. Now the front, that is where you tie your clip, your trace or your fluorocarbon straight onto the front of there and it's the same principle but what it actually does is where the worm hoop, uh, weighted hoop doesn't is give you that articulated motion up and down as well so it's quite a good rig that is and you can rig them you can rig virtually any soft lily onto these chab rigs um so they're ideal to be honest with you there's one there that's a grubby gun from gunky but it's also got the slit at the back there so you, you can virtually hide the hook in the body of the lure and when the fish bites it just pops the hook out there just like that now this is what we use when we when we we're slow retrieving through a snaggy or weedy section of our canal and it just allows you to keep that bait right down at the bottom without danger of snagging now i'm not saying you won't get snagged you will around the ball now and again with a bit of weed but Nine times out of ten I can bring that in clean just because I've got it set like that where the point of the hook will not touch any of the snags or any of the weed. So that's how we rig it guys. Now a bit further on in the video we'll, we'll talk a bit more about TRDs, how we use them as well because they're stand up lures like that. And they actually stand up, I haven't got one in here at the moment but we also use bigger lures. I tend to use the weighted worm hooks with, with these bad boys and uh, they're, they're fantastic for perch, to be fair. And uh, let's have a quick look in here. You can also put little paddle tails on. There's one already set up. Now I've put on there a straight hook. Now what you can do with these straight hooks is when you've rigged them like that, you can actually push that up and bury the hook in as well as far as you want down into that lure if you imagine the fish is going to take it these are slightly buoyant these lures so they sit up like that now the reason i use a straight hook on these is i can keep this at the top of the weed about two inches at the top on a faster retrieve and just bob it like that just at the top of the weed that actually point of that hook there is showing on mine but you can actually bury them so it's not a problem using straight hooks on the normal chair rig because as you can see there it gives you the same articulated movement not a problem so hope you enjoy this video guys it's just a few tips at what we do hopefully you can get into this weedless rigging and uh, it i find that you do tend to miss a few bites on the on the hookups but you can keep it in them swims a lot longer so it's ideal for your snaggy swims and your your canals with a lot of weed around them especially in summer and um, we, we also drop shot it as well where you can keep the drop shot weight and the hooks there so you can keep that above the weed as well but we'll show you that on another video so thanks for watching guys tight lines well i've come out today for another little quick hour session with my brother-in-law behind the camera on the z-man trd and I've sunk his battleship. We've got an absolutely colossal perch there. I'll pull him out and we'll have a quick look. I've just weighed him in the net. He was four pound in the net, so I'll have to weigh the net after. But believe me when I say this perch is deep. He's massive. There we go. Just look at the length of it. The length of my forearm. What a fish. What a fish. Well, there you can see on the measure mat, he's just touching 40 centimetres. But if you look, he's, he's as deep as the mat. It's colossal. And have a last little look at him. So, no, Dave, what a fish. Right, we'll get him on his way.